What's going on guys? Pack Daddy here bringing you the next hunt draft. Can you guess which one it is? Wait a minute, you guys can see the title. Whatever, you guys know it's best checking and how this works, we're gonna come into the auction house and they switched it up a little bit since last time. What we're gonna be doing, since none of you guys can figure out my method to how we do this, every single episode I explain to you guys, we're gonna make it super clear and super easy. So what we're gonna be doing is looking at the best eight cards that we see right here and picking the person who has the best checking stat. This is an example right now. But looking at everybody right here, Frank Mahovlich, 85 checking. You can see there right there, his fourth attribute is the highest out of all the eight people on here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and filter by position. We're gonna go ahead with the first center on the team. It's gonna be, let's see, 82, 78, 80. It's looking like Ryan Kessler is the first player on the team with 82 checking. And you guys better believe that we're gonna be smashing people out there on this, going for huge hits. Let's see what the next one's gonna be. Oh, I, yeah, I can't do R1 anymore. Yeah, you gotta fix this, man. I'm going crazy. All right, so I guess we gotta go over three times and to the next page of people. Oh my gosh, Nicholas Backstrom, 79 checking. Please let that be the winner. I, unfortunately, we're seeing some 80s here. So 80 checking, 78, 80, 71, 79. So we get the dealer's choice of this one. Do we want Nazem Kadri or Patrice Bergeron? Guess who we're gonna be choosing here. All right, going one more to the right to see the next page of players. Here we go, what's it gonna be? Ooh, Eric Stahl, team of the week. Whoops, almost went a little bit too far. Elias Peterson, 64 checking. God, get him out of here. Uh, Dylan Larkin, Mark Scheifele aren't gonna do it. They're both sitting there 78 and 80. None of the silver's up there, 70s and 60s. So Eric Stahl, Milestone player. That's a beautiful card. First time I'm ever gonna be using a Milestone this year. So Eric Stahl, Milestone, that's another good center. All right, the final center for the team is going to be, ooh, not the best choices I'm seeing right here. 82, Kevin Hayes. Gosh, please give me somebody else. Ooh, that's a rough one. We already have Ryan Kessler, so we actually get to go one more space down. Paul Statsny, that's not helping. So it's looking like it's going to be Kevin Hayes for the final center, which is unfortunate. At least he has 88 speed. So now all we have to do is come over here to the left side and start searching left wingers. Let's, oh my gosh, look at all the legends. We got Halloween, Brad Marchand, 79, 83, 83. Wow, dude. Oh, Ruslan Fedotenko, 85 checking. Bolts player right there. We're picking him up on the team. Say what you will about his speed and his shot, but he scored both goals in game seven against Calgary. So he's got props for me there. So we're gonna go along to the next page of people. Oops, I accidentally skipped. We're gonna go back to the top. Dick Duff, <laughs> love the name. I absolutely love the name, but wait, is this the same amount of people? We're just gonna go to the next page. I can't remember, I don't know. Frank Mahovlich, 85. Come on, let's go. Frank Mahovlich, stay with me here. It's gonna be 86. Frank Mahovlich with this one, with the 85 checking. These players are really slow, but then again, the other team's not gonna be able to go anywhere because they're all gonna be dead on the ice. All right, the next page, here we go with the third left winger on the team. Oh, come on, Johnny Busick, be good to me. Stay there, buddy, stay there. I gotta check out all the rest of the stats. 85 checking is what Johnny Busick has. Bob Probert with the 90 checking. Oh my gosh. Final left winger on the team, and I'm I'm making the slowest team you've ever seen in HUD so far. Let's go with the last bunch of people. Already have, we don't already have Johnny Busick. Let's see, this guy has 80 checking, are you kidding me? Bo Kenji? Bokinji Mama, kind of one on the team. But oh my gosh, there you go. Alexander Ovechkin with the 87 checking. The grade eight is joining the team. The last wing, and we finally got some superstars on the team. Let's go. The next bunch of people is gonna be the right wings. With the first search, here we go. What are we gonna get? Bernie Joffrey on, please, 86. Uh, let's see, Hornquist isn't gonna do it. None of these guys are doing it. Kovalchuk, he is another Russian superstar a couple of years ago, maybe. But let's see, it's gonna be Bernie Joffrey with the 86 checking. These teams, I mean, we've loaded up on some big hitters so far, so I'm excited. The next right winger on the team is gonna be, oh my gosh, Brett Hull. Charlie Conacher, ooh, that would be a fun card to use. Let's see, 82, 85, 87, Charlie Conacher. Gosh, that is a nasty card. I'm hyped to get him. So we have all alumni players on the right wing right now. Can we follow it up with another one, Ty Domi? Oh my gosh, we might have all alumni on the right wings. So he has an 87 checking and I don't think, ooh, Dustin Brown's Halloween card came close, but it's not gonna be out Ty Domi. Very weak card offensively, but my God, that checking in defense. 
Moving on to the final forward of the team, we skip next. Oh, we got a lot of options right here. Halloween Ty Domi, unfortunately can't do him. There's two Kucherovs here, so I know we're at least looking at the two cards below him. Yari Curry's an 85, Scott Walker's an 85. Ty would obviously go to Yari Curry here. Uh, any of those players were pretty trash, so let's see. Bernie Joffre on again, Corey Perry. I don't see any of that, so the choice is clear. It's Yari Curry. Look at that. All alumni players on the right wing. That is sick. All right, time to come over here to the defenseman. Let's go. First off, left defenseman. The first search, here we go. Ooh, I see a couple team of the week. Samuel Gerrard, evolution card, 84. Tommy Albeline. Let's see, Tommy's at an 84. Giordano's only at 83, so there we go. This is five Hut alumni cards in a row. This is nasty. Here we go with the next one, big hitters. Come on, give me a big hitter. Zach Wierenski, team of the week. Please let me have him. Cam Fowler, all these guys can't even check. And then boom, you get to an 83 Zach Wierenski. That's a done deal, baby. The final left defenseman for the team is gonna be joining us. Oh my gosh, Halloween Zidane Chara. I don't think it can be beat, but we do get to move down one just because there was a duplication of Chara in here. Let's see, 67, 89, good lord. 87 again with Zidane Chara. Nobody comes close to him, and yeah, that's an easy one. Halloween, Zidane Chara, holy crap, that guy's a monster. We've almost got everybody that we need so far, but we got right defenseman and goalie, so let's check it out. Who's gonna be the first right defenseman? We got Latang. we got Tyler Myers on an 83, and this guy, Derek Anglin on the 83 as well. Tyler Myers it is. Moving on to the next set of defensemen. Oh, here we go, Uwe Krupp. That's a 79, 82, 81, 82, 70, 81, 85. There we go. Uwe Krupp, Uwe Krupp, Uwe Krupp, Uwe Krupp, Krupp, Krupp's on the team. The final forward who's not going to be in goalie pads on the team. Oh, give me P.K. Subban. Give me P.K. Subban. 76, 84, 73, 80, 82, 83, 77, 74. That's P.K. Subban, baby. Woo! Not bad, but we got to get to the goalies real quickly. And we are doing best checking, so we're going to check out the stats real quick before we do anything. What is checking? What would that be here? Poke check. It's the only word that actually has it in there. 81 overall would be what Matt Murray's stats would be for checking. So that's what we're going to do. So unfortunately, we got to pass on Billy Smith. I hope he's there sitting on the next page because he probably has the best poke checking out of anybody. But let's check it out. Oh, we got some nice options here. We got Milestone, Mark andre Fleury, a couple of Vasilevskis, a Bobrovsky. Let's see. How many duplications do we have? We have two Andre Vasilevskis, so we get to go two past what we have here. So Bobby Lou is the person we're going back to. Andre Vasilevsky, let's start checking out some of these poke checks. 79, 80 for Braden Holby, 84 for Mark andre Fleury. That's what I like right there. Is anybody going to be getting it? 55? Does this guy even have a stick? What kind of stats are those? 60, 65, 75. Okay, I think we're done. Yeah, I said Roberto Alongo was the end. So it's going to be milestone Mark andre Fleury for the goalie. Hyped to play with him. I just sold him on the auction house yesterday. Dang it. All right, here we go. Who's going to be the backup or maybe the starter? If it can be better than Mark andre Fleury, I doubt it. But we're going to see right here. Oh my gosh, Ben Bishop, Johnny Bauer. But we can already see that Ben Bishop is a duplication. So the person below him is going to be Billy Smith. Let's go. So it might be Billy Smith. We got to check the poke checks first off. 57 again. 70. 84 for Johnny Bauer. Okay, not bad. 84 again. Ben Bishop's an 83. And what is Billy Smith's 84? So the tiebreaker goes to me. I get to decide who it is. We're going to be picking up Billy Smith right here because I have always had a bear of a time trying to score on Billy Smith. So finally, it's our chance now to have him in net. That's right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build this team. I'll see you in a sec. Before we show you the team, we have to show you guys one thing. The only synergy we activated is very fitting for the team we put together. The Beast has been unlocked. Activating this synergy gives a plus two bonus to aggression, body checking, endurance, and fighting skill. That gives a stat bonus to Alexander Ovechkin, Kevin Hayes, Bob Probert, Ty Domi, Bernie Joffreon, and Yui Krupp. Oh my gosh, we're unstoppable. So this is the team you're looking at. Ovi, Stahl, Mahovlich on the first line. Fedotenko, Bergeron, and then Curry. And then Charlie Conacher, Kessler, and Ty Domi. Bernie Joffreon, Kevin Hayes, and Bob Probert. These guys are insane. These lines are so much fun. Probably half the team is Hunt alumni cards, which I absolutely love. Because I probably wouldn't be playing with these guys. So this gives me a chance to see what these guys are like out on the ice. On defense, Subban and Renski. You got Zdeno Char and Yui Krupp. And then Tyler Myers and Tommy Albaline. I still haven't figured out how to pronounce his name. Let me know in the comment section if I'm getting it right in goal we have billy smith backed up by mark andre fleury 
So these are the jerseys we're rocking right now. I just want to kind of give you guys a glimpse into how I play Hut every single day. We got the Rebels home jersey. It's just a sick card, dead skull with horns on it with hockey stick crosses. Absolutely love that card. And then the away jersey is the Idaho Steelheads. I love, I played against this in my puck drop series. So I love the jersey so much. I got one in a pack and immediately activated it as my away jersey. We got Alexander Ovechkin being the top player on my team, which is fitting because he's still going to be on the heavy hitters. He can probably make any team that I do a hut draft for this year, unless it's low stats, then there's going to be no chance in heck that he gets on this roster. As you can see from the past couple games we've played, we are on a bit of a winning streak right now. We just cracked into Division 5. We're 1-0-0 right now. Season 7, trying to stay in Division 5, trying to progress to Division 4. We need 13 points to do it. We're going to get one step closer during this game. So I want to let you know how much this team costs before we get into the game. So my starting salary was 700,000 coins. And after acquiring all these people, and keep in mind, I already had Alexander Ovechkin and P.K. Subban on the team, so I didn't have to buy those guys. But that cost me 450,000 coins to pick up everybody. It's it's pretty much it was most of these guys Yari Curry, Charlie Conacher, Bernie Joffreon. Uh, I think Yui Krupp was very, very expensive. Uh, and Tommy Abilene was also expensive too because there's like two up on the market. Had to buy them though, had to get the car that we saw in the hut draft. So, without a doubt, it's time to finally take these guys out onto the ice and bury the opponent. Turd Ferguson 69 is this guy's profile, and he's got Kazakhstan. This guy's like my alter ego. <laughs> Game on, buddy. Let's do this. One Eric Stahl. Show me a win off the start. There we go. PK Subban back up to Eric Stahl. Cutting into the zone. We got to stay high on this guy. Bam, gets crunched. Fed a tanko up to Bergeron. Oh, we already hurt some guy. There's already one guy on his team limping, so he's not covering Fed a tanko. Paul Coffey. Oh, one timer. Come on, there it is. Curry, get the rebound. Come on. Got to stay here. Got to get something on the attack. Good step up. Come on, Conacher. Rip it. Oh my gosh, what a fast shot. That thing was hauling. Oh, just killed him. Just killed him with Chara. <laughs> Halloween Chara. Come on, Yui. Look at the speed on him. This is 85 Yui crew. What's, what's this guy? Back door. Oh, no way. Conacher got robbed. Come on, Bob Probert. Kessler. No, where is your stick on the ice, buddy? Oh, there it is. Are you kidding me? There's no way Grant Fear just saved that. He put it right out onto his stick. I pushed forward and he gloved that. That is ridiculous. Why are we having a face off at center ice? Bit strange here. And we just glitch looped. What the crap? Oh, big check by Yui Crew. McDavid getting flattened by Halloween. Gosateo <laughs> Chara. We're also turning into aggressive full attack breakout. We're going leave zone early, carry option. We're going full fire against this guy. Oh, you can't do that. <laughs> Poke checking like a mother. We're going on the five on three, boys. Let's go. All right, Subban walks it. Short side. Oh my gosh, he hit it in the goalie's chest. Come on, what are we doing? To the point, Wierenski. Oh, come on. Do somebody open up, please. What are we doing? There it is, one timer. And there we go, Yari Curry, let's go, gets the hand drag. Oh my gosh, we're sitting there back door wide open. I was just waiting for somebody to open up. Yari Curry finally did it. Yui Crew gets around him, he's coming in. Gets around Buffalo, short side. Yes, there we go, Yui Crew gets his goal as well. Let's go, guys. Even the big guys, even the guys who love to check and get goals too, they can still snipe it with the best. That's why they're Hunt alumni, that's why they're chosen to be in this game. Just like that, the power play pays off. We're up two to zip here, late in the first. All the way up, all the way up to Domi. Come on, Domi, dank short side, snipe. Oh, he missed the net by like five feet. What are we doing? Boom. What is going on? We just we just glitched out to that later in the first period. I didn't even see that guy. That guy blended in with the ice. Billy Smith though, with a huge save. Dude, Billy Smith is playing like an absolute all right, here we go. Late in the first period though, we just gave up a goal. So we got to switch our defense up. We got to go a little bit full attack because my guys were too cluttered in front of the net there. Subban to Jeffreon. Fix this game, come on. How much time is going to get added to this game? This is ridiculous. No coin summary. I don't even get rewarded for it. 
Nothing happens. I stay where I am. <laughs> Just beautiful. All right, he's got pasta. He's got Kucherov, and he's got Austin Matthews starting center. I wouldn't expect nothing less from the Leafs fan, but we got the best hitters out here, and we're absolutely laying body on him. Kucherov's getting flattened by P.K. Subban. Pasternak, no, you're not about to score right there. Come on, get real, buddy. Oh my gosh, he almost passed the stall right in front. Ransky, big hit. Boom! <laughs> Gets him out at the line. Welcome to the best checking draft, buddy. Flatten him. Flatten him! Oh my gosh, he lost the puck. Bam! Crunched Marchand. That felt so good. That felt so good. He's not on the power play. I didn't do anything wrong. Domi doesn't charge. He's the cleanest player out there. Oh crap. Yeah, there it is. Oh my gosh, what a play. <laughs> that was complete luck. But Stahl comes in and just snipes that one. What a beautiful, fluky play. Hey, I'll take it, but we're laying big hits. And that's probably why that was our first court chance. Yo, flatten him. Flatten him, buddy. End of the first period. We got the only goal right now. So he's coming in strong and hot. But we're just trying to absolutely kill his team before he can actually put a goal in the back of the net. My theory is if they don't have a roster, if they don't have enough people to roster a team, then he can't win the game. That's what we're going for. Big checks, big hits. Let's see how many hits we registered in the first period if we look at this thing. We've got eight hits to nothing. We're going for crazy amounts of hit right now. We've got two more periods to build on that. It's going to be hard to lay bigger hits as the game goes on because he's kind of going to learn my hit style, so I still got to shake this up. There you go. Finally a penalty. This guy's stick lifting like a mother out here. Oh, the period ends. So right as the period ends, we are going in on a fast break. Yari Curry cannot get it done. So, hey, Billy Smith is keeping us in this one. The shots right now, 14 to 13, we're close. 13, 14 to three are the hits. We have as many hits as we have shots. So we're really taking it to him right now. We got to come hard in the third period, smack this guy down, let him just get rocked in our zone and come out with some force into the zone. Oh, back to Bergeron one more time. Oh, no way! He was already committed to the one-timer, so his his animations were just thrown completely off. Come on, just crunch this guy in the corner. There it is. Dude, he doesn't get up from these hits. Big checks by Yui Krupp. Get him out of here. There we go. Another power play. We're finally back at it. Another trip. Come on, stay back, guys. Yep, nice poke check. See, the big guys know how to be smart about it at times. To the point, Rurinski, there's the snipe. He thought I was gonna go down. There's like, no way he's going back over that DDD one-timer. He was staying right on me, left the D wide open. That was his man he should have been covering. Left him wide open. Rensky gets the PP goal, we're up to zip. Petrangelo, come on. I just gotta stuff him with a couple big checks. Get that morale down. Big mistake. Bam! <laughs> Tyler Myers laying the hammer. There it is, there it is. One-timer, oh, don't me. <laughs> You gotta wait till the puck's on your stick before you shoot, buddy. Come on, Z, big Z. Boom! Oh my gosh, I love. There's no way you stick lift. Oh my gosh, I'm getting greedy here. But Billy Smith is an absolute champ. Boom! Hit Poshnot. Chara. Oh my god, that's one of the hits I was looking for. Big Z laying the body. There it is, one timer. Curry. Again, with the snipe. Well, it wasn't really a snipe, but it was the one-timer. The patience by Bergeron got him right to the front of the net without anybody worrying about him. That is teamwork right there. That's how the big guys get it done. Five seconds, can we get one more goal? Subban taking it out. Boom, claps it from the point. <laughs> Actually goes over the net. But that is gonna do it for the end of your game. That was the best hitters. We did some smashing out there on the ice. Killed and dummied some people out there. But Billy Smith, this guy with the cookie duster right here behind the old goalie cage, absolutely killed it for us. Put up the shutout. Definitely was probably my first star of the game because he held us in there. But we made dumb plays and tried to go for big checks. He kept the score at zero for the other team. And we came away with this one. Three zip was your final score. And that was a fantastic performance. Let's just check out some of the end game statistics right here the end game statistics we had 21 hits and 19 shots we did more hitting than we did shots 
absolutely fantastic performance by the best hitters. That's exactly what it should have been. We dominated Billy Smith getting the first star of the game. Perfection. Joffrey and getting three assists and Subban with one assist and three hits. So we're going to see who had the most hits. Any guesses? What is your guess in the comment section before we go? Three, two, one. Zidane Chara, five hits. Ty Domi with four. P.K. Subban with three. Tyler Myers, three. Yui Krupp, three. Wierenski, Abel, Albeline, and Conacher. Everybody else didn't do much hitting. Ovechkin didn't get any hits. Benetanko, Kessler, Bob Probert, Mahovlich. No checks, but Big Z, like, oh my God, he was killing people out there. That is your season progress right there. We are 2 0 0, going through Division 5, going for that Division 5 title, heading up to Division 4. And that's going to do it for the best hitting draft. Let me know in the comments section what you would like to see for the next Hut draft. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. We absolutely smashed the competition. Zidane and Char is an absolute freak. But let me know in the comment section for the next Hut draft what you would like to see. Let me know in the comment section. I do check them out, but best checking was by far the one you guys wanted to see. A lot of people on Twitter actually messaged me and said let's do the best checking so I had to do it and it was an absolute gong show for performance so that's gonna do it for this episode of the hut draft once again let me know in the comment section the next one you want to see smash that like button for every time I laid a hit on somebody it was a lot subscribe to the channel for more videos but thanks again for watching guys this is pack daddy I'm out